what this research uh, shows is that it might be possible to halt the, the deterioration in the tissue of the brain after death. We've known for a long time that cells in the body might uh, live after the person has died. Um, when somebody is diagnosed as brain death, dead, for example, other parts of the body may still be alive. That's, in fact, why they can donate their organs. Um, mm. what this, no, sorry, do go ahead. What this uh, shows is that uh, it might be possible in this sort of model to, to preserve the, some of the cells of the brain. That is important for research. It may enable uh, research using, for example, humans who've donated their brains for research. But it doesn't change the fact that, uh, that brain death has occurred. And obviously, you're a professor of ethics. The pigs' uh, brains that were used in this experiment uh, were dead, essentially, throughout uh, the experiment. There were anaesthetics on standby to make sure that they did not at any stage regain consciousness. Ethically, does that mean you're satisfied by the implications of, of what took place? Yeah, I think it's, it's very clear from this piece of research that there was no suggestion that these brains were functionally being brought back to life. They were electrically silent. There's no suggestion that it could be possible in the short or medium term to resuscitate brains that have been diagnosed as being brain dead. Are you excited about the possibilities for what this research might start to tell us about degenerative brain diseases like Alzheimer's? Well, I think it's, it's very early, but this technique might lead to, to further developments that could help restore or preserve the function of damaged brain. What about the implications for organ uh, donations? I know that at the moment uh, there are timelines for when uh, brains can then be donated after resuscitation has failed. Does, could this change uh, those time frames? I don't think so. Uh, those timelines are based on, uh, on the basic ethical principle that once somebody's uh, reached the point where they will never recover consciousness or awareness, uh, that the person has gone, that they are brain dead. Uh, this, rehears this research doesn't change that. Even if individual cells might still be alive, what's ethically important is that the person who was there has gone forever.